Welcome to this episode of Locked In. If you've already watched my top five gravel bike upgrades for under hundred bucks and you got some more money to burn, please stay tuned. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over five products that all in are gonna add up to about 450 bucks that are going to significantly upgrade your gravel bike experience in my opinion. And all of these products I have reviews for on my channel and I'll be putting those links in the description below. So let's get started with the Redshift Shock Stop Stem. This is something that I definitely would recommend to any gravel bike rider that wants to add some more comfort or is having any kind of shoulder, neck, or hand pain on the gravel bike on longer days out in the saddle. This is a elastomer based stem that is gonna add in 20 millimeters of compliance. They have this stem available in an 80 all the way up to 120 mil variety in a negative or positive seven degree and it is tunable depending on the rider weight and what handlebar style you are running. I have run this stem since it's come out and I absolutely love it. I would definitely recommend it to anybody who's, who wants to add comfort to their bike or if you're just a long endurance road rider even and you're just trying to take out some fatigue, I would definitely add this to your bike regardless because it really is a game changer when riding off road to where I would never go back to rigid if I didn't have to. And that stem's gonna come in at about 150 bucks but currently when I'm making this, it is on sale. Then we're gonna move into my Granite Design Stash RCX tool this is a integrated steer tube tool which is going to include a multi-tool a spoke key as well as a valve core remover it does have your standard assortment of allen keys so make sure to look it over to make sure it has everything that you need on your bike but it really is utilizing a area that most of us aren't going to be using on your bike and no matter what bag setup you're running for your bike packing rig or your gravel rides you don't have to move your multi-tool around if you don't want it in your saddlebag i prefer to leave it here because it's easier access and honestly most of the time when i get into my saddlebag i'm looking for my multi-tool anyway so it keeps everything nice and tidy in my saddlebag and i grab something that i'm going to be using more frequently right there at the steer tube. That's gonna be coming in about 45 to 55 dollars. Then I would look into a handlebar bag. If you don't have one, get one. And if you can get one, why not make it look cool and customize it? I would check out Kai Venture bags. I have two reviews of their smaller minimalist bag and their bigger all day bag that I have on my channel. I really love both sizes and utilize them. Now depending on what kind of storage capacity you need, they have a bag to fit your needs. They offer it in a standard assortment of colors. They offer these bags and again, multiple different sizes. You can even customize that size to your specific liking. Prices are gonna range around that $50 to $75 mark depending on how much customization or size you really want. You can have this specifically matched perfectly with whatever color scheme you have on your bike down to every single detail that you could ever want. Then we have the Garbrook cage extender that I have on my Cobalt Warhawk and I've been running this since I built that bike and I have over a thousand miles on this setup with no issues. This essentially is a cage extender for your derailleur to add in cassette capacity range. So no matter if you're running SRAM or Shimano, check their website out. They have a cage extender for almost everything out there. This took my max capacity stated from my SRAM rival rear derailleur from a 42 all the way up to a 50. So no matter what you have, check them out. It's definitely a worthwhile upgrade. It's about $130 for the cage and the jockey wheels but they are billet CNC aluminum, super rigid, super stiff. They shift great. And in my experience, it did actually even drop weight on my rear derailleur. Lastly, if you're running tubeless because you're on a gravel bike, you should be running tubeless, I hope. And if you are, check out the Dynaplug Racer. This is my go-to recommendation for anybody who's riding tubeless over going to a bacon strip. This is a tubeless plug. They do offer it in two different sizes. You can see the small and the large, depending on the size of the cut. And with that tip on there, it's gonna basically hold itself into the tire so it never backs out. I have used this and it always seals really well. I've never had them leak on me days later. The basically extended piece that sticks out of the tire eventually wears off and kind of beds itself into the meat of the tire and seals itself permanently. I've never had an issue with it and I will never go back to standard bacon strips. And those are gonna retail for about 50 bucks, depending on if you want refills or not. And let's wrap up with the final price. So if you add all those things in, you're still under that $450 mark. And to save you a little bit more money, check out my discount code in the links below for Kai Venture bags. I do have a 15% off discount code to lower that custom handlebar bag or whatever other bag you might wanna pick up from them for even less money. So you're guaranteed to spend less than 450 bucks. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram, as well as you can support Locked In via my Spreadshirt store with all the different merch that I offer, as well as on Patreon where I offer one-on-one -on -one cycling consultations for my top two tier levels every single month. And lastly, thanks for watching another episode of Locked In. Let's get locked in today. Like